Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defence Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defence sector. India has achieved self-reliance in developing highly complex network century antique ballistic missile defence system. On 2nd November 2022, the world has witnessed India's new capability of neutralizing the ballistic missiles. The DRDO chief Dr. Samir Kamath said that AD1 missile test was a significant jump in India's military capability against ballistic missiles. As per DRDO chief, in phase 1, the capability was developed to destroy incoming missiles of 2000 km class. The median test of AD1 has helped to intercept any missile of 5000 km class. It is mainly an endo atmospheric interceptor, but it will also work in low exo atmospheric region. DRD is parallel developing an interceptor for high exo atmospheric region. The entire BMD, including AD1, and the next high exo atmospheric interceptor will be ready by 2025. On 21st April 2023, DRDO and Indian Navy has successfully conducted the maiden flight trial of sea-based endo-atmospheric interceptor missile off the coast of Odisha in the Bay of Bengal. The trial was aimed to engage and neutralize a hostile ballistic missile threat and with its success, it has elevated India into the elite club of nations having naval BMD capability. While the name of missile was not revealed in official statement, it is none other than AD-1 which was tested in November 2022. Talking about AD-1, it is a long-range interceptor missile designed for both exo-atmospheric and endo-atmospheric region of medium-range ballistic missile and even aircrafts. It can even intercept targets at near space that is low exo-atmospheric region. The aircraft which has been mentioned here would be AVOX, aerial refuelers and transport aircraft. The unique feature of AD-1 interceptor is its car band RF seeker whose unique capability minimizes the missed distance and thus improves the interception probability which enables the missile to achieve hit to kill mechanism. The traditional missile guidance algorithm requires the use of blast and fragmentation warhead and a proximity fuse to ensure target kill. Since some missed distance is predictable, even with the use of a variable speed missile and sophisticated proportional navigation. But hit to kill mechanism requires direct hit to target with a very high degree of accuracy. For example, the third missile defense system also uses hit to kill mechanism. The AD-1 has also been designed for hit to kill mechanism. This method is also known as kinetic killing where the missile system is not armed with any warhead but strikes the enemy missile at very high speed thus the destructive power of missile is very very high this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.